Hi, good morning. It's time for Pastor Rick's Reflections, and today, September 30th, is the day we commemorate St. Jerome. Most of the saints are remembered for something outstanding, virtue or devotion, which they practice, but Jerome is frequently remembered for his bad temper. It is true they had a very bad temper and could use a uh, very harsh pen, but his love for God and his son Jesus Christ was extraordinarily intense. Anyone who taught error was an enemy of God and truth. And St. Jerome went after him with his mighty and somewhat sarcastic pen. He was above all a scriptural scholar, translating most of the Old Testament from the Hebrew. Jerome also wrote commentaries, which are a great source of spiritual inspiration for us today. He was an avid student, a thorough scholar, and a, pro a, pro a prodigious letter writer, and a consultant to monk, bishop, and pope. St. Augustine said of him, what Jerome is ignorant of, no mortal has ever known. St. Jerome is particularly important for having made a translation of the Bible, which came to be called the Vulgate. It is not the most critical edition of the Bible, but its acceptance by the church was fortunate. As a modern scholar says, no one before Jerome or among his contemporaries, and very few for many centuries afterwards, were so well qualified to do the work. The Council of Trent called for a new and corrected edition of the Vulgate and declared it the authentic text to be used in the church. In order to be able to do such work, Jerome prepared himself well. He was a master of Latin, Greek, Hebrew, and Chaldaic. He began his studies at his birthplace, Striden, in Dalmatia. After his, uh, after his preliminary education, he went to Rome, the center of learning at the time, and then to Germany, where the scholar was very much in evidence. He spent several years in each place and was always trying to find the very best teachers. He also once served as a private secretary to Pope Damasus. So um, today we are thankful for St. Jerome. Um, said the Vulgate was one of the most, um, I guess, used early texts um, of the Old Testament and uh, was a uh, was a great tool for the church and helped spread the you know spread uh, God's word in ways it might not have been able to do had it not been in Latin. So let's pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you uh, again for another day that you give to uh, for us to, to feel your love and to love and serve you and your people. We thank you for folks who um, have studied your word, scholars who have helped to uh, make it available to each and every one of us. Today, we thank you for Jerome and his work in uh, translating the scriptures. Continue to raise up scholars and teachers uh, to help us understand uh, your word even better each day. Watch over us all uh, and especially be with those who are going through difficult times. Folks in the hospital, whether uh, recovering from, from surgery or injury or illness, especially those who are suffering from COVID-19, continue to help us as uh, we work towards a vaccine that uh, will help bring an end to this pandemic. Uh, continue to be with those who uh, have lost homes or loved ones uh, in hurricanes and, fire, uh, and horrible fires. Uh, we pray for those firefighters out west who are still risking life and limb uh, to uh, protect homes and businesses and uh, we thank you for their unselfishness and putting themselves in, in such danger to help others. Continue to help us as uh, we look to see how we can serve our neighbor uh, and uh, show us always um, the way of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.